English. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. Oh. <laughs> Too much. Yeah, it's November 30th. It's Aloha November. Tomorrow's December 1st. Oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah, I got appointments and everything. I'm trying to do the one day at a time thing. It's just a personal goal because you got to keep going on. Going on. Anyways, a total bunch of rain and then it stopped. It's like a quietness. It's a little eerie. Birds are gone. I don't know. They just don't like getting wet. They're seabirds, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's... There is uh, this and that and all this, and it's still kind of... Uh, it's the holiday season. Everyone's, like, running around trying to be holiday season stuff. So everything's... Ooh, I gained a pound. Uh, I mean, I lost a pound. I gained a pound. I lost a pound. And then I gained... Uh, now I gained two pounds. I'm like, man, it's the stress. Ooh, holiday season, and then... Uh, mind of snack. So I have to resort to another... Uh, Do not. Do not. I have to resort to another tactic. Salary. <laughs> well, the main news, I think, well, all the rest of it's pretty the same, but I think the main news is, um, what can I say? Henry Kissinger is dead at a mere 100 years old. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Henry Kissinger. He's pretty famous. I mean, historical. and his, his, Historical famous. In the sense. Yeah. I mean. Henry Kissinger. My God. He goes back to, like, Washington. He goes back to Washington. <sighs> he goes back to President Nixon. For sure. So, I mean, I think he was in there with the Kennedy thing. He steps in. I'm not sure exactly. Forgive the uh, uh, accuracy. But he, he's right about right after Kennedy. He's like, he's in, he's in there. He's, uh, he's Henry Kissinger. He's got big, bushy eyebrows. He knows stuff in the Baltics. Middle East. So whenever there's that Middle East crisis, oh, it's Henry Kissinger. We were looking into the Baltics. That's where you must look at the Baltics. And Andy Kissinger, and we were down in Beirut and Tehran and India. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But here's a little known fact that's why I'm bringing this up. And, well, you know, God rest his soul. I mean, it's Henry Kissinger. Yeah. No one is deep out if they don't haunt me, Henry Kissinger. <laughs> Gosh. But um, the thing is, oh, ow. Okay. Stay close, Jesus. Okay, uh, uh, interesting fact, um, those Nixon tapes with the Watergate, and there was tapes that were gone, um, LBJ put in this recording machine so he wouldn't have to type his memoirs in the Oval Office in the Resolute Desk, if you watch National Treasure, 
and the recording thing was going on, <clears throat> Nixon came in and just said, ah, F it, leave it. Or somebody put it in, maybe it was JFK, but somebody put in the re automatic recording thing inside the Oval Office. Nixon was like, eh, leave it. And much to his demise, there was a bunch of recordings that he didn't want recorded. <laughs> Watergate and the missing 22 minutes. And that's another story. But amongst those Nixon tapes, Henry Kissinger was the, uh, uh the, what is that? Department of State? Whatever the head of state, what is that, whatever that guy is, the state guy, the foreign affairs, you know, whatever. He was there all the time. Henry Kissinger. Well, Vietnam was happening, and Nixon turns uh, in behind the scenes. He was a real hothead, swearing like a you know sailor kind of deal. Those f words and all kinds of Gandhis and and um, there the Vietnam War wasn't going well with this bombing or one part that they were trying out wasn't going well. I think it was the carpet bombing thing. It wasn't going well. Nixon got all pissed. He's like, yeah, David, visit, visit, visit. Nixon, Ab Abraham Nixon. <laughs> Honest, oh my God. Honest Abe and Richard Nixon. Yeah, that's the dichotomy. But anyhow, so Nixon is yelling and he says, why don't we just effing nuke them? He wanted to use nuclear power in Vietnam. He was going, that's nuke um, And it's on recording. So you have to go find, you have to trust me or go find the recording. Because it's somewhere in there in the Nixon tapes. <laughs> Let's effing nuke them. And then there's Henry Kissinger. No, I don't think that is a very good idea. Richard, tricky, sit down. So anyways, little known fact. Richard uh, Nixon, yeah, one of the nuke North Vietnam. And, um, well, what do you can, what can you say? Andy Kissinger saved Vietnam from being nuked. So, yeah, wow. And in the, in the, uh, today's news is, look, it's, it's a late finish. It's a late rush. I don't got the paper. This is yesterday's, um, uh, sports. News. <sighs> the rain. But it's something about um, the water stuff. Let's look. The news. First off, there's lead poisoning from people in the shooting range and all the lead bullets. See, guns don't peel, kill people. Bullets kill people. Lead poisoning. So there's lead poisoning safety concerns at the EVA range <laughs> and the other ranges too. There's like, ew, where does it get lead poisoning? from I mean, you know, not the joke. I mean like actual lead poisoning from lead bullets. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh god. And the capital is soaked. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are all wet. Give me enough give me give me some new news. Leaking stems from ground level reflecting pools. The <laughs> ground reflecting pools. Ah oh, the reflecting pools are going into repair and it's the the whole state capital is turning into a reflecting pool. It's like <laughs> there's a carp and koi swimming around. <laughs> okay, yeah. Grossbox says nothing. <laughs> the paper is still teeny weeny small. They've, I don't know, saved on paper. I guess we're going paperless pretty soon. And the sports, the Wahini Volleyball. Oh, look, hey, they win and they stay in and Wahini Volleyball, yay. Tua is still number one. Number one is Tua. Tua, number one. Not the Wahini Dolphins. Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty clever, okay. All right, well, just relax, you know. Remember back in the day in 1988, just relax to go down to the docks and the ship come in, the Queen Elizabeth II and then the Hokulea. Man, the Hokulea used to be around in 1988 all the time. 1988, ah, oh, Hokulea, this is like when it, before it started going all over. <laughs> Hokulea, old and new, that's what it is. Okay, yeah. And Godzilla's back because, you know, stuff and contaminate the water and Godzilla comes out of it. And um, in Japan, uh, here's students. Um, this is at oh oh students oh in Japan, art students go old school with create works with eight millimeter film. Oh, are we? I did that in high school, old school. I guess I'm high school, old school. Yeah, the eight millimeter cameras. Oh, what did they have? Oh, what's a different kind of camera? Oh, well, yeah, I'm interested now. But the eight millimeter film. Ah, the bells of Saint Mary. 
Yeah, I did an eight millimeter film. Um, I did two. I was promising a friend that hey, we'll get an A. And this other film that I was doing, we uh, an eight millimeter, and um, it was about uh, just take a sign, just take a sign. This time, we did an eight millimeter film in high school. We had novel to film, and the eight millimeter film, I was like, "Oh, we gotta do this one. I promise, we're gonna get an A." And um, I was uh, looking into the Jack, uh, Jack the Ripper and the Yorkshire Ripper. It was the Yorkshire Ripper didn't happen yet, but Jack the Ripper, and this movie is called The Nemesis. And this guy is a ripper. I had to play the ripper. We did our own stunts. So this movie, this eight millimeter movie, is filled with actually death-defying stunts. I, I jump on a boat and I push somebody off of a motorboat, like a 14-foot skiff, plow away, the propellers go wow, pretty close to the guy who's in the water. The boat's speeding along and I jump off the back of the boat, a speeding motorboat, ah, into the water, swim to his island, and then we had machete things, and then jumping off of the cliff rocks with ah, the spear gun. And, there was, there was stunt work in this 8mm film, and our rock and roll band, who was Lethal Dose at the time, we had many names, we uh, did a soundtrack, we did a soundtrack to it, we just did like musical weird sound stuff using this, and we got a, a C or something, or a B, because it titillated us. That's special. It, her quilt was, it titillated at violence. I mean, it's a Ripper movie, come on. It's a Ripper movie, titillated on violence. What the Back to the news. <laughs> Enough already. The capital is soaked. You know what? We need something like back in the day. And I went to that. Okay. You know, we need a little finger on the pulse. That's what we need. Oh, they're back. They're tough, tough. And I edited it. Yeah, I edited it with the little chop chop thing. <laughs> the little chop chop. Glue it together. Chop chop. And we had to sink our sinker soundtrack so a little cassette tape and the eight, eight millimeter film goes and as soon as you see that then you start the cassette tape <laughs> that's how we sync, sync the soundtrack mm, bah humbug charitable donations down lowest levels in 30 years <laughs> oh what about everybody when they're freaking out you know stop stop yeah. okay okay so the water went boom water breaks and all this kind of stuff and this tons of water and the rate hikes went up this is that water rate hikes leave questions unanswered the announcement that the board of water supply will increase rates as much as 63 percent by 2028 for average residential consumer customer that can leaves one worker one to wonder oh uh, so so excited oh, make me board of water supply adopts an over 50 percent hike rate November 28th. Does the average high rate? Bad. I see. I'm all confused. Uh, uh. Oh. Can you hear it? Oh, finally. Where you come from? Wait. Oh, jeez. Shush now already now. Does the average rate payer know that these folks who are served on this board? I can hear you. Oh, now you can, eh? So, do we know their backgrounds or their ability to question in detail the board's chief engineer, Ernie Lau, and make a wise decision? How can we be assured, be assured that this will result in the best water supply system for all of this money? Will this money increase, decrease <clears throat> ah, for nearly 300 water main breaks a year on all oh, oh, that snarl traffic and cause us to be late? Will this money a, enable the board to repair water mains that are gradually being inundated by rising sea levels? making? Many future water main breaks unrepairable by the board's own reckoning? The board rate. Uh, what? Lower? Yeah, then we should go to the rate below. But poor rate payers have no answers to these and other questions. But once again, must dig deep and watch life become ever more unaffordable in paradise. In quotes, you know. Dale Jensen, thank you, Dale, for talking in tutu voice and sharing, sharing, sharing your thingy, sharing your thingy, sharing your thingy. That's why. Oh, oh, it happened. There you go. Oh, did it, put it, put it, put it. Ah, and my thingy broke. And, oh God, it's everything's gone all weirdo. Okay. Ernie Lau, 
for the water supply. I salute you. They're like, oh, but I don't know about this board and this 50%, 63% pay rate. What? Oh, man. Yeah. You know, I don't know. It's past the cost to the consumer. I'm sure they got costs, but yeah. Oh, I don't know. But Ernie Lau is a good man. I saw him with the Red Hill battle and his explanation to the public and he was on the side of right and all that. Um, I don't know. They had to shut down that well and that's kind of what's, what's causing this. Red Hill had to shut down the well otherwise it sucks the contamination into the aquifer. That's a judgment call but it's, uh, it's judging if it errors it's erring on the side of safety. So it runs a bit thanks to the Navy you know thanks that contaminate the water supply and the rates go up anyways anyways okay that's it aloha it's all elderly. wet elderly that's uh that's me now okay now okay aloha aloha to you oh boy it's all wet it's all wet oh, oh gosh aloha stay dry now okay bye now